Hey everyone, I wanted to finally show um, all of you guys and gals what um, Orb is all about. It's uh, a mod installer that we have been working on at OrbiterMods.com. So, what it does is that it knows the location of um, these mods and it will automatically download them and install them for you. As you know, a mod like, um, for example, the Space Shuttle STS um, 2016 has a bunch of these dependencies and it's a pain in the ass to install um, all of these dependencies. And um, the job of Orb Installer is to install those dependencies for you. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, on the main page on OrbiterMods.com, you're going to see Download Orb and you go here and then click Download Orb. And then uh, you open up the zip file and you can install this on a pre-existing copy of Orbiter or uh, you can install a, um, you don't have to have anything to be honest with you so I'm gonna delete everything in this copy of Orbiter 2016 and I'm gonna um, drop all of these files from the Orb zip archive Okay, so we're just extracting the zip archive. Okay, so now we can uh, launch uh, orb.bat. Don't be alarmed if you get this warning the first time you run this. So we just click run anyway. And uh, now Orb is launched. So it detects that uh, we don't have a copy of um, Orb inside Orb Cache. Orb downloads all files from the internet into Orb Cache. And if it needs to reuse those, uh, to use those files in the future, it'll reuse them rather than downloading them again. So I happen to have a copy of Orbiter or 2016. Since it's 2.5 gigs, I'm not gonna uh, bore you guys with downloading the entire thing again so I'm just gonna drop a copy in here close orb and rerun it alright so now uh, I'm going to rerun orb and it will then extract this um, zip into the orb cache so that if uh, it doesn't need to extract it again in the future so it's extracting it up this file on r.exe is used to um, un uh, comp d to extract the RAR archives. Okay, so now it says that orbiter.exe is not in the current folder. Would you like to install a fresh copy of Orbiter 16? And why not? So let's do yes. So now it'll just copy all of the files in this directory over to the root directory where Orb was launched from. Okay, and uh, now we're ready to install the experiences. So let's um, uh, go for the SpaceX missions. So let's do number two. And uh, or will open your browser to download files from Orbiter Forum because they have um, this Cloudflare protection enabled. It downloads these files using your browser to your downloads folder and Orb then moves those files from the download folder to the Orb cache. Sometimes Orb will not be able to lo automatically locate these files and in those cases you'll need to simply, uh, Orb will open up a select file dialog box and you'll just need to navigate over to the file downloaded with your browser and just uh, is, um, 
tell orb where that file is located. So any resources that are not on Orbiter Forum can be easily downloaded and you don't need to do this thing, this procedure for that. And we'll show a little progress bar um, in Orb itself. But uh, for files that are on Orbiter Forum, because they enabled Cloudflare protection, we can't um, download them um, through Orb. They have to be downloaded using your browser. So it's installing a bunch, downloading and installing a bunch of these add-ons. And um, thank you to all of the add-on developers that uh, Brian J, especially for the SpaceX missions pack. So now it's installing some more mods and you can see here for files that are not located on Orbiter Forum it shows a nice download progress bar. Unfortunately as of now since Orbiter Forum has uh, blocked automated downloads uh, we have to open your browser to get the files on Orbiter Forum. So now it's getting the DirectX 9 client and the micro textures. Generally it's pretty hands off unless you're installing uh, something like um, uh, Orbiter Sound where or Kulch's add-ons where it will launch an EXE installer and you'll have to then, like for Orbiter Sound, you have to tell Orbiter Sound installer where the Orbiter root directory is. Now remember these files are only downloaded once into the orb cache. Every time in the future you need these files, you uh, orb will just use the orb cache. So I recommend that over time you build up your orb cache and uh, in that way you end up kind of like with a backup of all of your um, orbiter uh, mods that you use. Okay, we're getting the lunar transfer MFD now.
we are really hoping in the future that Uber Farm will remove this um, constraint um, because it doesn't res uh, it results in a poorer user experience. But it still works. Um, okay, so looks like we're done, and then we can go and. Uh, launch orbiter and see what happens so we've got the video tab here let's set it to full screen like that and uh, let me just set the resolution correctly and if we check out our modules tab you'll see all of your modules are automatically uh, enabled um, so let's go into a scenario and um, orb will automatically create a directory bit for you as well the SpaceX missions and um, let's see let's launch a scenario uh, starship skydive one that looks like fun Welcome aboard, Commander. All, All systems right. nominaled. Four thousand. Is it gonna make it? Is it gonna make it? Let's Three thousand. Two thousand. You are cleared to land. One thousand. Eight hundred. Seven hundred. Six hundred. Five hundred. Four hundred. Three hundred. Two hundred. One hundred. Seventy-five. Okay. Fifty, forty, thirty, off, touchdown. Alright, this is such an awesome mod. Um, thank you for all of the mod developers uh, whose mods are currently being used in Orb uh, bundles. Please go to orbitermods.com slash orb and you can contribute your own bundles and... Um, and yeah, have fun. Alright y'all, this is all I wanted to show today.